Alright guys, so a few days ago I completed a series on this channel where I used all the worst fighters in every single weight class according to their stats in EA Sports UFC 3 and I used these fighters on ranked, it was a successful series, you guys enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun to play and when it was done a lot of you guys were actually requesting that I now go ahead and use all the best fighters in each and every single division in the game so pick the absolute best fighter in every weight class and try to win a fight with them now you know this might sound like it's gonna be a lot easier than using the absolute worst fighters and for some people it might be but a lot of these fighters like the best fighters in each weight class i'm actually not very uh good with a lot of them because i don't use them often uh, a fighter like GSB, I don't use GSB that often. Um, someone like uh, Daniel Cormier for the heavyweight division, I don't use DC a lot. So for a lot of these fighters, it's it's gonna be a little bit challenging. Habib, you know, I don't, I, I never use Habib. So uh, it might sound like it's gonna be just a cakewalk and it's gonna be super easy, but you know, it will take me a little bit of time to get a hang of some of these fighters. But without wasting any time at all, I'm gonna go right ahead and start things off with the heavyweight division, and we will be using DC. And uh, like the last series, I'm gonna keep going. If I lose a fight, then I'm going to stop. And if I don't lose, I'm gonna keep going or until the video gets ridiculously long. So let's start with the heavyweight division and go down from there. Hope you guys are excited about this one. I definitely am. Let's do this thing, people. Alright, here we go. Very first fighter we're using today is DC in the heavyweight division. We're facing Mark Hunt. Of course, with DC, you're looking for every opportunity to grapple, whether it's in the clinch or to take the fight to the ground. Um, in the heavyweight division, DC is very powerful. He really is. And as I was looking at the stats, I was actually expecting the best fighter in that weight class to be either Kane Velasquez or Fabricio Verdum, but DC is definitely the best fighter in that weight class by far. Um, he has everything you need. He's got power, he's got grappling, he's got speed, he's got conditioning. And uh, you know, if, if all you want to do is strike with DC, you absolutely can strike with DC as well. But we're facing a very, very, very powerful, very powerful and possibly underrated Mark Hunt in this weight class. This is not like the Mark Hunt from UFC 2 where he was like a bum. In this in this game, Mark Hunt is absolutely nasty, especially if you sit there exchanging with Mark Hunt. So we're not going to do that. We're going to uh, try to get the fight to the ground every opportunity we get. Let's touch it up. No. All right. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Good job, buddy. Interesting that he switched to Southpaw though. Like I don't I don't understand the whole Southpaw thing, but he's checking every single one of those. On he goes switch kick to the body, Joe. Nice job there by Hunt. Right hand forward now. Alright, I'm trying to grab this man. Oh, he got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and his head is firmly on the center line, the one place it really Come here, sir. to be. He's showing some vulnerability here by leaning right into his opponent's range. Let's see if he can make Boom. some Boom, on his back immediately. Now he's in half guard. Cormier ground and pound from half guard now. Nice punch. Let's try to do our very best to stay and true to Daniel. To here. Stop that one. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. He establishes back control. He's got him flattened out. He's got him flattened out here. Good right hand. Something about taking down Mark pisses people off. <laughs> I bet there are people watching this right now just absolutely pissed off at the fact that I just took down Mark. Even in real life. As I get to top mount right here, let's see if we can hold this. 
And I remember when Mark faced uh, JDS. And uh, before the fight, Junior was talking about the fact that he he would like to take Mark down at least once in that fight. Finds a home for the left hand there. He's working from his back. And uh, when he finally got the takedown on Mark. It looks like he's going after a rear naked choke. Oh, that's this looks good. This looks good. Try and work that arm under the neck for the choke. He's got it. He's got the arm under the neck now. He wants to get it underneath the chin. Oh no. This is it. Can I get it? Can I get it? No. Wow. <laughs> Oh man, missed it. That was close. Lands a good shot from the bottom. No sir. Reversed. But yeah, like I was saying, man, when when JDS finally took him down, the whole entire crowd erupted in booze, man. It was like it was booze, like. Twenty seconds to go. Wow, look at these fakes. Nice. It's almost like it's unfair to take down Mark. Like that's how that's how the public feels about that. Oh, this man. <laughs> this dude got sloppy at the end of the round. A lot of players do that. I do that sometimes. You know, you think the round is is getting is getting close to the end. Let me do one big thing, something crazy. And that's usually how a lot of players end up losing the round. So careful with doing that. Oh, he's not touching anymore. Oh, the man is pissed off. I don't think he liked that grappling. He's rocked. Come here. Sorry, buddy. Fighter showcase here, baby. I think he's quitting. Yeah, he's done. All right, baby. That's it. That is it. But yeah, I don't know what it is about Mark. Once you take him down... It just it's it's almost like it's unfair. It's almost like there's some kind of unspoken rule that Mark Hunt is a kickboxer. You do not take down Mark. You keep the fight standing when you're facing Hunt, or you're gonna get booed out of the whole entire arena. But um, we're not following that rule today. We're doing a fighter showcase. All right, let's move on, people. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Alright, next fighter we're using is John Bones Jones in the light heavyweight division. Yes, John Jones is the best fighter in the light heavyweight division, period. But um, his stats also proves it. I was taking a look at the stats and it was definitely between John Jones and DC. Um, but I would give John Jones the edge. Honestly, it depends on who the player is. Um, I feel like DC is the more competitive player considering the meta and considering how the game plays. DC probably is the better fighter, but overall, John Jones is better. Because overall, he is. This one was tough for me to uh, decide. Alright, so we've got a uh, aggressive DC. Let's see if I can approach this the way John faced Gustafson. We're going to box on my own terms. And the rest of the time, we're kicking. Oh no. I knew he would do that. I knew he would do that. I tried to pre deny that too, but it wasn't quick enough. He's in half guard here, landing some big shots. No, sir. Big body punch. He's now working from I missed that one. Jones gets pounded here with these elbows to the head. And busy as he looks to improve position here. For some reason, I just let him get that crucifix. I didn't even attempt to deny it. Sometimes I do that for some He's reason. It's like I just forget that I'm playing the game. Like I draw a blank and forget that I'm playing. 
Let's see if he can get out of harm's And he way. stands back get up. Back to his feet. Really? Changes his stance. Throwing that jab, no good. Tags I cannot compete right with this hand speed. Got to keep that in mind always. Remember how to use John Jones. He's doing a very nice job protecting his head here. Jesus, look at how slow his hands. well off of that jab. Mind you, John Jones was buffed. His speed was buffed a little bit. I believe so. I hope it was. Very nice jab work by John Jones. Landing a good series of strikes here. Trying to establish that jab once again. Cormier gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get Man, for some reason, he seems slower than I remember. He legit does. Good shot to the point. Welcome, bro. In half guard now. Lands with the ground and pound. Keeps the elbow there. Jones gets touched by another elbow. He's got to be really careful here. Big body punch. Back to half guard now. He lands a big shot from the bottom. Mm, missed it again. Guard. He postures into place. That's a big shot right there. All right, that was a good round. It could have gone either way. I mean, we both got takedowns. We both spent a little bit of time on top. We both landed some clean shots on the feet. That was a very close round. That was like a typical John Jones versus DC round. These guys are always having close, like close rounds. It's just because of their styles, you know. They just they know how to neutralize each other very well. And uh, that kind of translates to the game as well. Second round underway. Nice punch there by DC. Man, that was a three-piece. That was quick. John Jones attacking the body. Oh, absolutely, Joe. These body strikes really starting to add up. Box only when I want to box. I'm not gonna let. I won't let this man force me into boxing. Punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Sound defense there as he blocks Nice, the shot. <laughs> nice shot. Come here. Missed. On the ground here, always trying to better his position. Well, man, this man is good at like shutting me down in half guard. I've noticed. He's getting beat up a bit with elbows here. Jones's lower jaw now, Joe, started to show some signs of swell. Beautiful punch. He moves to stacking him now. Good work. Good work. <laughs> the man is good. He's a good defensive grappler, definitely. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Oh, Jones gets caught with that punch. He's taking some big shots on the bottom. Side control. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the ball. I honestly feel like this guy is a better grappler than he is a striker. Excellent movement here on the ground. Like his striking with DC is kind of what what you expect, you know. But on the ground here, he's doing some good work. Let's go the other way. Oh, he stopped it too. Are you joking me? No. Stop that one. Ninety seconds to go in round two. Oh, we caught him with that right hand. Hammer fist here by Johnny Bone. Lands a good he shot keeps shutting bottom. me down in half Johnny guard. Here, ripping to the body and to the hey head. man, let Stay me posture busy. up. Well, you gonna let me posture? Work from the top here by Jones. Oh, that was He's close. Doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Can I get back to stack, Cormier please, sir? Here, Joe, from the top. He's you gonna let me? Significant damage here. Oh, these elbows are starting to land. No, regularity. This could be trouble. Nice punch to the body. Oh, elbow to the head there by Cormier. Oh, nice elbows there. Oh man. 
There we go. He's stacking him again. No, sir. <laughs> oh man, that was uh that was interesting. That was interesting was grappling we had there. That was a good exchange. Spent uh, a good amount of time on the ground. Um, it wasn't it wasn't too slow paced either. That was enjoyable. What I do notice is that we're both losing stamina. I mean, when we're doing a lot of grappling, denying each other left and right, the stamina tends to shoot down pretty quickly like that. But hey, that is DC versus John Jones. These guys, man, anytime they go in there and they compete against each other, it's always very similar. They empty the gas tank in there. They push each other, try to break each other. I'm trying to break this man. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. It's so funny, we're not even touching gloves. Keeping with the spirit. The nice spirit of Jones Jeff. versus DC. Straight right hand, no good. Beautiful straight punch there by Johnny Bone. Oh, we tagged him. He's rocked. Come here. And he denied it. For some reason, that was not a blast spear takedown. I don't get it. That man is shadow boxing. Missing from a mile away. Nice combination. Jones is moving to his left here, Joe, and it's a wise move trying to avoid the power in his opponent's left hand. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are going to count. Huge block there. Able to land with the body there with the left kick. Pretty good straight punch for him there, Joe. I'm trying to see if I can catch that uh, switch kick he keeps throwing so I can dump him on his head. And man, that just reminded me. Wouldn't it be so dope if John Jones had his spinning elbow after a kick catch? Doing an excellent job blocking. UFC Undisputed 3 had that. You could catch a kick with John Jones and spin with a beautiful elbow. And drop him. Really it was so beautiful. I'd like to see John Jones get that. When he catches he a kick, I'd like to see other time. options. Actually, oh, he lands that again. I'd like to see more three, options after the kick, ca the kick catch. Those, Ability to. Uh, you gotta be careful when you throw the same technique over Ability and over to go over for again. like an oh, elbow. Ability to like just kick their legs out from under them. Head off the center line, slips the punch. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Oh, Jones nice. gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he's he landing that switch. Just missed with the left there. He's fainting with the punch. And Jones continues to land that jab. And actually, some fighters actually. He's oh, he's gassed. This man is completely gassed. Oh, that cut has really opened up now, Joe. Straight punch. He's doing a great job blocking. I was going to say, some fighters are actually able to kick you in the head. But you usually see that in Muay Thai. Like after a kick catch, some fighters can kick you right in the head. Nice left hand. Yeah, mostly see that in like traditional Muay Thai fights. Alright. That was a good round. I'd say that was my round. I'm just tagging them up a little bit, not really going crazy with the strikes. Um, if the finish comes, the finish comes. If it doesn't, then it doesn't. But we're just gonna just, you know, just just let it come. And keep flowing, keeping that stamina high, baby. Well, just as he did in the previous round, there we go. Continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary. Trying to see if I can spin opponent. to the body. Where is it? Where's my spin? Total strikes. Now they are throwing both that was too close. 
He's rocked. Oh, get out of here with that. That overhand was so weak. It knocked me out of what I was trying to do. Big straight punch. The left hook hits home. Nah, man. Nah, sir. I'm watching out for that head kick. I know you keep trying to chuck head kicks at me. I see you. I see you going for it. I see you going for it. Doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming. I do not want to get hit by a head kick, especially from DC. Head kick thrown from a mile away while he's gassed. No bueno. Oh my God! Whoa! <laughs> no! Wow, dude, that head kick would have been hell. Two minutes remain in the round. Damn, man, I saw my life flash before my eyes on that one. And he's out of the guillotine. He has a very, like, he has a very comeback style of play. I say comeback style because, like, the way he plays, he has a, a style that will, that brings him crazy rocks even though he is, like, even though he is down on the scorecards. Like, he's not playing it safe. I like this guy. He's up. Like a lot of times when people are gassed like that, including myself, they're not like winging head kicks at you. But yeah, he he figures he doesn't have much to lose anymore. So are you trying to draw me in? Is this what you're doing? You're trying to draw me in into something? He is trying to draw me into the into the overhand. <laughs> he was he was backing up, backing up, and trying to wing overhand at me. What a fight so far! This has been fun so far. Yeah, yeah. So far, I've not been able to finish the guy. I've been I've been trying. I've been trying, but like I said, man, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to go crazy right now. I don't want this guy to get a comeback. Get a crazy comeback on me. You want to clinch? You want to clinch? Uh oh. He moves to the no. Clinch. Come here. Oh shit! He's back up. No sir. Half guard. And he stops it again. He's locking me down to half guard. Doing a good job with that. I do not appreciate this, buddy. Big body punch. Oh, elbow from the bottom there by DC. I do not appreciate you locking me down here. Another hard elbow. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of this back. What are you gonna do? Land some more offense oh, here shit. For In full guard. He, he landed a left hand there. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving. Yeah, constantly I'm not messing busy. with that anymore. Well placed kick there by DC. I don't know if I don't know if DC has that weird to his feet. submission counter, so we're gonna be Josh careful. With a stiff jab. Pretty good knee to the body by Johnny Bump. What am I supposed to come here? Muay Thai clinch now, Joe. We're going to clinch. Can be done here. Tying up here in the clinch. No, sir. Looking to try to get some sort of an advantage. No, sir. Under two minutes. No, now sir. To work. He's really landing. Oh, oh, Rock. Come here, come here. No, sir. He's rocked again. 
Oh, he's robbed. Oh, this is over. It's done. Oh, wow. He got it. Wow. This man is a survivor. Fuck out of here with that. He, man, that was smart. I tell you that. I tell you that right now. That was smart. I did not expect that takedown one bit. He yeah, shoots again. He again. And now I'm gassed. <laughs> this has been a good fight so far, man. Come here, bro. Come here. Jones has got the tie plug clinch going again. Stopped it. Tying up the clinch, looking for openings. Great job, buddy. He's bottom him. Uh oh. <laughs> and that does it. That does it. I think I definitely won the fight. That was a good fight, man. It really was. He was able to survive. He was able to keep himself safe from, from getting finished. Uh, shutting me down on the ground. Not really allowing me to do any big damage. And on the feet, although he was gassed, he was doing a good job of timing takedowns at the right time to avoid uh, getting finished. But let's see who won the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds... Yeah, I won it. I got it. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision. All right. Still, John Jones. Yeah, baby. All right, people. Thank you so much for watching episode one of this. If you want to see more, destroy that like button. And I will bring you guys episode two as quickly as I possibly can. As always, stay safe, people. Have a wonderful day. And for a long time, the belt has gone through his hands. He remains the UFC light heavyweight champion with a big effort here tonight. Wasn't able to get the finish that he desired. Had to go the full 25 minutes. But the goal remains the same. To leave the way.